Well, before I got ill, I didn't really understand Emmy at all. And my definition would have probably been at that stage some sort of long-term fatigue after a usually a viral illness. I had no idea um, how severe and all-encompassing this illness actually is. And it's nothing to do with deconditioning. It's much more like an autoimmune condition where the body is attacking itself after you exert yourself physically, mentally or emotionally. And I think it does affect the neurological system mainly, but also the immune system is not working properly, the digestive system, your orthostatic intolerance goes, which means that you often faint or feel faint when you stand up, your heart starts racing, and a lot of people get um, secondary sympathetic and parasympathetic symptoms from that. So it's quite a complicated illness. Well, I think we've been slow to get going, but I th there's been an exponential increase in omics technologies and the information that's starting to come through from genomics, metabolomics, proteomics, and other studies on biomedical aspects of ME, tantalising, and I hope that some of the neuroimaging as well um, is starting to complete the picture to show there's a evidence of brain inflammation and there's actually something really pathological going on there. So I think the first point, and a really important one to make, is that the doctor recognises the patient is severely ill with a real condition. And that has been a stumbling block for a long time. And as soon as the patient is recognised, supported, my doctor advised I get a wheelchair, which was incredibly helpful to enable me to get out of the house. So even just supportive recognition is the start. I'm hoping that some of the more recent trials in low-dose naltrexone, for example, come forward with some new treatments, and I certainly know that antivirals help a subset of people, but there isn't any single one-off treatment for this illness. It's usually a combination of supportive um, environment, supportive family, the ability to get rest and pace yourself and also some people benefit from supplements b12 vitamin d uh, and some basic things like that